So today's project is we're changing the timing belt on a 99 Jetta. This is the year that the body style changed, so we had to order one for a 98 Jetta, but that doesn't make any difference. It's a 2 liter gasser motor. First step is remove the wheel. I've got the cold wet rotor covered up so I don't get cold while working under there. After removing the wheel, take off the plastic splash guard that protects the belts and pulleys. It's just held on by two clips. Next thing to do is take off the top of the air filter box. So I've got that sitting over here. Just had to undo a hose clamp and unconnect the connector and a couple hoses. And that gives you access to the timing cover which is there and it's just held on by two clips like you see there so no big deal. Next is the tensioner that holds the main serpentine belt on. So it's already off and to get it off all you do is get an ordinary 13 millimeter wrench put it on the nut that holds the tensioner wheel on and just pull the wrench and the whole arm twists and down there just in front of the alternator is that arm. So this whole arm is on a swivel and the spring is loaded inside and it just twists and then you can peel the belt off. Now we're back under the fender well and we remove the power steering pulley which is just by these four bolts that you use a six millimeter allen socket in like so. Now the trick to getting those loose is they're in there very tight. So you put your tool in the hole and whack this end with a hammer really hard and then when you go to loosen them you give them a quick crack with the ratchet as hard as you can quickly crack them and that will loosen them if it doesn't you actually have to heat them up a little bit with a acetylene torch once you get all once you get all four bolts out this harmonic balancer or vibration dampener just wiggles and comes off sometimes you have to tap it just a bit with a hammer and now you've got a 12 point 19 millimeter head on this big nut. Sometimes when you buy a kit to do the timing belt on these cars they come with a new bolt. Well many of the Volkswagens from the mid 90s have a problem with this bolt breaking. The bottom drive cog comes off and then of course you destroy your valves. This is definitely an interference motor. Now the next step is, is put a socket on here and rotate the engine until this little bump is pointing here and then when you get to the top of the motor, you're looking on your timing cog on your camshaft. It's a little tiny thing that says OT in a notch. And that lines up on the plastic back plate that says OT. That means you're set at the right position at TDC number one to change the timing belt. Now just below your cam cog wheel is your tensioner. And this is like a constantly spring-loaded one. So you stick a T45 socket in that little bolt there and just twist it with the ratchet and the tensioner will swing out of the way and you can pull off the timing belt with your fingers. Try not to pull it too hard because then you'll change the position. Now of course when you're working at the bottom of the motor where I just showed you, there's the lower timing cover which you're seeing now. Well, it has one little nut that's sort of hard to get at and that's why I actually removed the tensioner pulley that runs the serpentine belt. The other two bolts that hold it on are very easily accessible and they, they're very visible as soon as you get off the main harmonic balancer. Now the other cog wheel down there drives the oil pump and distributor and that can't move either that has to be lined up exactly I'll show you what to do. Now from under the wheel well again I've just drawn a random line now that we know that the crankshaft is in the right position on TDC and I've drawn a random line here on the distributor cog wheel. So long as both of those lines line up, then you know nothing's gone wrong and you can put the engine back together no problem. Now I've got the new belt to put on and I start from the bottom and slip it up through that. Bottom covers on. Now to put on the dampener and the power steering pulley. Tighten the bolts as good as you can by hand, that's good enough. And then the rest we just got to put the stuff together on top. Just record my action shot. Now let's go find some Autobahn and see how fast we can go. Alrighty, time for a test drive. Yeah, I guess that timing belt was kind of stale with those kilometers on it. We're off.
clutch doesn't feel like it has a lot of life on it, but it's not slipping. It feels okay, but it just doesn't have the range of grip. Yeah. Yeah, well, I guess you'll be seeing me probably in the fall or whenever. Because <laughs> I don't fix cars for other people in the summer. Yeah. Well, we made it back. So that was an uber fantastic ride. Hail Dave's Farm. Now time to give me some money, or else. <laughs>